How's it going everybody? This is Catch King 122 back with yet another figure review. And I know it's been a long while since the last figure review, so this time I am gonna do a very special and very old figure that I have gotten recently. If you saw my collection up not no, not my collection update. Uh, yeah, my collection update. Uh video. So yeah. And this is a really cool figure. It is the original Bandai. 8 inch Gorosaurus from 1989 and it is a very cool figure indeed so uh, yeah without further ado let's get down to it so as you can see its detail is very very nice it looks exactly like Gorosaurus did in the in the in the movie like the old show movie, so he looks pretty awesome. He's just so cool. You can see uh, how much detail is in the eye. Yeah, and in the tongue. He looks amazing all around. He is so cool looking, and I love this figure to death. He's so, so, so awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's get down with articulation. Uh, the arms move up and down a little bit. There's not much articulation, unfortunately. And the tail sort of moves. And so does the head. So there's not there's not much articulation, but what you see is sort of what you get. But it doesn't matter how much articulation he has because this guy will look amazing being on your shelf. And that is good enough for me personally. So let's get down with size comparison so I'm gonna bring in the original 8 inch Bandai Ingress mm -hmm. for size comparison I'm gonna have them both up as you can see they're both very nice looking uh, my Ingress has a tag if, by the way so maybe it get a little bit hard but as you can see they look very, very close to how they would be size-wise in the movies. Of course, uh, Angris would probably be a little bit smaller, while Gorsus would be a little bit taller, like that. But it's not too bad. Nor does it detract away from uh, figure figures in any, any bit. So let's move on to size comparison with a traditional 6-inch Godzilla figure. And I'm going to use the classic... 6 inch Bandai creation Godzilla 1968 yeah these guys are not size comparison at all because Gorosaurus seems to be like this tall Godzilla actually looks actually Godzilla's a little bit taller and uh, I mean and he looks a little bit weird because he's like six inches and this guy's eight inches but oh I think he should have actually been taller like if he's eight inches, like six inches, a little bit taller, but it should be eight inches taller. I don't know. Maybe that all goes into his thighs or his back or his stomach. But uh, whatever. It's it's pretty cool. And yeah, I cannot get over how much detail is in the eyes and the tongue and all. This guy literally looks like he leapt off of my off of my TV and is into figure form. So he's really really cool. Anyways, yeah, there's that. And, uh, do I want to do another figure to show how tall he is? Uh, yeah, why the heck not? I'll just do it because I think it's funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab a 10-inch figure, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see how he looks next to the 10-inch Kiryu. From Bandai Creation, also. Uh, of course, a uh, 10 inch Kiryu does not fit into the frame, but as you can see, yeah. I, I don't know, I just thought it'd be funny to, sh <laughs> to show this, so uh, yeah. There we go. But overall, this figure is very, very nice. I cannot get over how awesome he is, and I highly recommend him for any sort of a uh, collector. Unfortunately, the prices kind of can deter away from that.
because this guy is not cheap. Like I said, uh, he cost me like ninety-five dollars to get at a toy convention. So, and that's not even his normal prices. I expect uh, I expect him uh, to be uh, at the lowest. He'd probably pay like around seventy to ninety dollars. Highest is probably going to be one hundred fifty and up. And the reason for that is because he's such a rare piece, and uh, a lot of people want him for their collection. He is that sought after. So, that's kind of what's going to make him, like, a little bit, like, expensive, but uh, it's like, whatever. I mean, if you can find him for cheaper, then I recommend getting him. But, just keep in mind, you will pay a hefty penny for this thing. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter to Kaiju fans. I mean, look how cool this guy is. I mean, does it really, like, matter? how much you have to pay for him. I mean, he's like so cool. It's like one of those figures that when you see it in person, you're like, oh, oh my gosh, that thing's actually real. But uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is a really nice figure. And as I said, I can't get over the detail. The detail is so, so awesome. And yeah, he's one of my favorite figures in my collection now. He is so, 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 so awesome. But uh, yeah. Anyways, that's going to do it for this figure review. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and um, check out my latest videos. Uh, I will have be sure to have some uh, coming up. I am trying to work on um, a movie review for a horror movie, but that is not going so well. So I'm going to see if I can get it done someday. But uh, we'll just someday. But we'll just see. Um, we'll just see how that goes. But uh, yeah. Uh, this is Kaiju King 122 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!